This is not weird at all. Yes, it is to me. Let's do this. Phew. There we go. Ah. Ah. So standard cheap strim, uh, not a strimmer, trimmer, hair trimmer. Didn't cost me a lot. I've had it. I've had this years. This trimmer has saved a lot of money. God, I'm, it's weird to do this to your hair to actually do that. That is so unnatural because for years I've had hair. And I wouldn't have ever wanted it that short. Never. It's just weird. Right, I'm gonna do facial hair first. Ah! And I've got this weird thing about me. I always like to do a joker. Now I've got half and half. I always do that first before I carry on. I can't help myself. I do that every single time I have a shave throughout the years. Because I want to, it's too late, but I want to check whether I've done the right thing or not. Hair in my mouth. Yuck. That's nothing you ever want. I think that's better. I look younger straight away. Now what I need is a deeper voice, which I can pretend. I can pretend I've got a deep voice. And to be fabulously wealthy. I can't pre I can pretend, but it won't make any difference. Here we go. I've definitely got this thing about shaving near my neck. I always think, think I'm going to cut my throat. Ouch. Especially when the blade's sharp. So I'm going to come back to that when I haven't got a camera in my hand. A phone. Because I've got a little technique for getting the rest of the hairs not getting the Adam's apple. And therefore avoiding any nasty surprises. My partner actually doesn't like me uh, like this. She prefers the hair. But I've got to do what I think. Not, oh God, as you can see. If you can see, that is so bad. I literally have, I have no hair on my head. Yeah, I have fucking hair growing out of my nose. I mean, <sighs> why? Why would you do that? Ouch, it's not easy. It's not easy to do with a great big clipper. It's got to be done. I think there are other pe people out there that literally get tweezers and yank those fuckers out so they never grow back. Um, I can't, <laughs> I'm too gutless to do that. I'm too far too gutless. I suppose I should do it because it's do what you can't philosophy. I can't pull hairs out of my nose. Therefore, well, that's exactly what I should be doing. But I'm sure it doesn't apply to stupid things. Realistically, you shouldn't be doing. I can't jump under a bus. It doesn't mean I'm going to. But maybe that would get a million views. I might not be alive to tell the story though. Ah, oh, thank God that's gone. I am so pleased. All right, that's part one. Um, minus that bit, little horrible bit, Adam's apple. Part one, do I look better, yes or no? Please comment below. Not happy with my nose, but short of throwing money at that, I'm not gonna change it, and that's not that bad, not that bad. I'm clearly not happy with only half a head of hair. So that is coming off now, all of it. All of it, I'd rather have no hair than half hair. It's not about half empty, it's half full if you're bald. No, no, that's bullshit. Half 
No, it's awful if you're bald because you've accepted the reality of it. But it's half full if it's like this. You'd rather have full than half, so you've got to go for it. Anyone out there is facing the same thing? This is probably a good test case for them. The reason I've never done this before is because I never thought I'd look... Oh my God, it, it, I mean, it just looks so bad to have hair on the side of your head like that. I mean, who would ever want that? And yet people live their whole life. If it, I'd rather have it like that, where it looks like you're a refugee or something, or just gone to the army. I'd rather be like that. I'm definitely happy with that. I have investigated what's called micropigmentation, where you get little dots of tattoos on your head to give you the pretend look of having hair, which, fair enough, is a good idea. But when I was told that over time these fade and you have to have them done again, and they're not cheap in the first place, I thought it just put me off. I'd rather, I'd rather go without. If I had money to throw, and I'd be sure they weren't going to do a crap job, which I was happy with the lady I spoke to, actually. But the financial side, I've got better things to spend that money on. Way better. Housing and food and basic stuff. I'm not to a level where I can afford to piss money away at all. I'd rather give it to my kids if I'm going to do that. Honestly, give them a better future. Um, or myself a better future. And there's all sorts of better things to spend the money on. But if I had the money, I would do it. If I had the money spare, I would give it a go. But the fact that they fade over time, as a real tattoo does, is not a, a good thing. Ouch, that hurts that bit. So, um, I'd even, I've even looked up cheaper kits where I can kind of do it myself or ask someone to do it for me, like my partner. <laughs> but I don't think she would do it. She'd be worried about getting it wrong, and so would I. I mean, I've seen some of the disaster cases, and they are hideous. So, I think the simplest and cheapest method is this. Get rid of it. Maybe go part two and shave it like uh, Breaking Bad Man. What's his name? Brian. I've got his autobiography, actually, to prove it. Oh, no, I can't prove it. It's in the car, actually. What's his name? Brian something or other. I can't remember his name. The actor, awesome actor. He was the dentist in... Oh, I can't even remember that. I read his sodding autobiography and I can't remember. Malcolm in the Middle. He was a dentist in Malcolm in the Middle. If I stop thinking about his name, it'll probably come to me. Right. Back of head. Brian. It's not Brian Johnson. That's a guy on the internet. I've got that in my head. Brian G. Johnson. Who's a... Uh, a uh, guru on um, getting your site noticed, getting your v your YouTube page noticed. And I think he does internet as well. He's really good. That's why I can't think of this, this guy's name. The other Brian's got in the way. Oh, wow. Look at that hair go. It's always been uncomfortable for me doing the back of my head, but on the other hand, in this instance, I don't want to have to worry about getting the hairline exactly right, because I'm just destroying it. My partner will probably have a fit when she comes home from night shift. Oh my gosh, gosh. She'll go, what have you done? But you've got to be happy in yourself. Not You actually haven't got to care what other people think. You do this for yourself, yourself alone. If no one else likes it, that's not your problem. Your problem is how you feel. And I guess the same goes with any uh, physical transformation. You've got to put yourself first. You've got to be happy in yourself. And other people will have to fall in line with what you are happy with. Or they can go fuck themselves. Fair enough. Whew. 
Wow. I'm just looking at my... Oh, strangely, also, even though I have no hair on the top of my head, I've got like these... I'll close in on them. It's ridiculous. The human body, what it does to you. You may... I may... I'll try and zoom in. I've got these like... Oh, I can't... I can't do it. Cannot zoom out in... Oh, fuck you, camera. I've got these like stray hairs about here. Just a few hairs. Not too... Not enough to do anything. I've got these stray hairs. Weird. Oh, when I do that, I get um, skin break. I'll put some uh, lotion on that. Oh, that's not. I've also got talking about hair coming out of places you don't want it. I've actually got hair coming out of my ears. It's ridiculous. Why would it come out of your ears, your nose, and various other places you don't want it to come from? and not stay on your head. What a weird thing the human body is. And curiously, why does it not affect most women? Why is it only men? I know scientifically it's certain chemical that we lose at a certain age or time in our lives or whatever. It's just mental though, it's mental. Right, I think I'm gonna need Two hands. Two hands for the next stage. If you look closely, I've got a what's called a Ted Heath eyebrow. I'm gonna give that a quick go, try not to shave the whole thing off, because this is a bit of a um, a bit of a clunky tool to use for eyebrows. Um, but not happy with those. Do I look better? Oh God, I don't really know, to be honest. Well, I feel better. I feel better. I feel better. I still don't look as young as I'd want to look. Like I said, I I feel, say, 25. It's hard to say how you feel, but I feel a lot younger than the 47, getting on 48, that I actually am in real terms. It's weird what the body does to you. Loss of hair, loss of... Uh, fitness level, jelly belly where you didn't have a jelly belly before, I'm working on that. Just takes a lot of press ups. Um, all sorts of weird, like rounding of the body, loss of muscular structure, all sorts of weird stuff. And obviously, if things like your back go, you've got real problems then because you can't do the exercise that you want to do to stay fit and healthy. Hmm. I'll keep working on it. I'm going to have to cut it off here, do next part after I've done some extras because I need two hands and there's nowhere I can put my camera where it will do a good job. So thanks for watching. If you like, please thumb me up. Please give me the thumbs up. Try again. And if you want to subscribe for more, please do so. Thank you.